Hello! In this demonstration, I will be using Wireshark to open an existing PCAF file that contains network traffic that happened over a network. And we're going to use Wireshark to reconstruct files and conversations that happen over that network. Wireshark is platform independent. It is available for Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux operating systems. Now, the user interface is generally the same across the board. Here I'm going to use Wireshark on Mac OS X. So first thing is, let's open up an existing PCAP file. I'm going to do File Open. And here on my computer I have four existing PCAP files. Uh, PCAP is also known as Packet Captures. I will open up, let's open up set2.pcap. 61 megabytes. Open that up. And I remember when I first learned, uh, was learning Wireshark, the interface was generally pretty overwhelming. Uh, but with enough practice, it actually comes pretty, pretty well. So the first thing that will be very noticeable is the first panel here with a lot of rows that are in color. Uh, each and every row is one packet. Let me just remove that. So each and every one of these rows are packets. Network, uh, network packets. And if you scroll down, you notice in this PCAP file there are 80,525 packets. That's a lot of network traffic that happened over this network. Okay? And so each and every row you will see a packet number, uh, the source, destination IP, uh, the protocol that was being used, the length, and just a brief snippet of uh, information. Okay, But the source and destination uh, IP address uh, generally comes in pretty handy, and including the protocol as well. So for if you highlight each and every packet, uh, you can also see uh, the different layers of the OSI model. Uh, you can see the MAC address, uh, source and destination MAC address, if you highlight and you expand Ethernet. As you can see, in this packet, packet number 19 here, uh, you can see the source and destination MAC address that were being used. Okay. Also, you can see the IP uh, header for this packet. Uh, the one that's highlighted, number 19, you can see the IP version, the length, time to live, um, any flag, and here it is, the source and destination uh, IP address. And you can also see the TCP header for this path for each packet, in this case, number 19, that is highlighted. Source port, destination port, uh, the flags, uh, the TCP flags. Uh, so this window right here, this middle, this, you know, this is all the uh, OSI, uh, all the layers of the OSI model stuff is, is here. And the third pane, uh, this is the uh, packet in raw format. Okay, so let's recreate a, uh, a conversation, uh, some, uh, something that happened over the network. And let's see uh, an HTTP uh, conversation that happened. So, of course, one way is you can always scroll down and look for a HTTP packet. But let's say you want to filter out this entire packet set and you just want to see the HTTP uh, packets. That is all packets that are just HTTP only. You can use the filter bar here in Wireshark and you just type HTTP. And then you hit enter. As you will now see, you will only see all the HTTP packets uh, in this PCAP. And there are st quite, still quite a lot of HTTP uh, packets uh, that happen over this, uh, this network. So now we have filtered out all the HTTP packets. And we have filtered, I'm sorry, we'll just take a look at all the HTTP packets. So let's see, we have a lot of source and destination IP addresses. So let's take a look at, okay, this packet here between this source and destination. If you want to reconstruct uh, what happened between this source IP and this destination IP, you want to recreate the file, highlight the packet, right click, 
on the packet, go to follow PCP screen. Oh, okay. And here it is. Looks like the conversation between that IP, the source and destination were uh, looks like look like it's encrypted here. Let's close that. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at another. Well, we're still at TCP stream equal to 90. We don't want that. So let's cancel out that filter. Let's go back. Let's actually take a look at another HTTP conversation. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Between this source IP and this destination IP, packet number 11382. Let's right click on it, follow TCP stream. Okay. There we go. As you can see, this is now the um, HTTP request and response center. Uh, between uh, the two, uh, between this conversation. Not bad. So we even get the HTML as well. So something looks pretty good here. Okay. So that is one way to reconstruct a file or a conversation uh, that happened over the network. Is select the packet, right click on it, and then do a... Follow PCP stream. Take a look at this. That's interesting. Okay. You can also, uh, after you follow a, a TCP stream, you can also uh, save it as well to disk and ask in, in any of these following formats. Okay. There is also a quick and dirty way to extract all of the files and content that happen over a certain protocol such as HTTP and that is if you go to do a file export objects and you can choose to export objects and uh, export all the DICOM objects, HTTP objects, uh, SMB and TFTP. So let's do an export object, export all the HTTP stuff that happened on this network and you can see there's a lot of stuff that happened. Lots and lots of stuff that happened over this network, and you can do a save all. Ooh. And we have a GIF here. Okay, close. One other trick that I can show you when using Wireshark is how do you actually use uh, the filter to only show uh, certain IP addresses? So let's take a look at this example. Let's say if I only want to see all the packets containing the IP address, uh, source or destination, 200. Dot twenty one dot seven dot ninety five. Now you can use the filter bar and you can do IP dot ADDR equals equals two hundred dot two twenty one dot seven dot ninety five and you hit enter. And now you will only see packets that have the source uh, or destination as IP address two hundred dot two twenty one dot seven dot ninety five. So it does. A, so it now filters out a lot of packets that doesn't fill that fit that filter. So just a recap: in this video, what you have seen was uh, just a real basic overview of using Wireshark, uh, using Wireshark to open up an existing PCAP file, uh, how to use uh, Wireshark to reconstruct uh, files and conversation that happened. We have also done a few, uh, few filters as well. Hope this helps.